My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. What I have behind me here is the Teton Sports Mountain Ultra One Person Tent, and this is my agenda free review. I've been testing this out for numerous months, and finally, I'm done. I'm ready to share my thoughts about it, the pros, the cons, my experiences while camping in this tent. I have a lot of information to cover, so let's begin now. I do need to mention this, everyone. I have multiple videos concerning this tent, including a preview which goes over every single detail about this. This episode is focused primarily on the review, my thoughts, my experiences. If there's questions that you have, likely they would be answered in the previous episodes I've filmed. I've also filmed a test night episode with this tent, which is a waterproof test episode. So if you want more information about the waterproofness of this tent, you'll find it in that episode. I will touch upon that in this episode very quickly, but just know that there's other episodes out there that have a lot of information in them. To begin, everyone, I'm going to go over some very quick, brief stats and a little bit of information for you. This is a three season, one person, tent but you can find this in numerous versions a one person two person three person four person and so on this tent is available in three colors gray red and yellow the weight of this tent is four and a half pounds and the primary materials for this tent is polyester and aluminum you have a polyester fly polyester body mesh you have aluminum poles and aluminum stakes and that takes us over to the dimensions when this tent is stored 21 inches by 5 inches when it's all set up, you're looking at 80 inches by 30 inches, and it's 41 inches tall. Specifically, with the one-person version of this tent, it features one door, one vestibule. It features two vents. There's one on the back side and one with the door. Inside of the tent, you have a single pocket, which is an overhead pocket, which is quite large and will hold quite a bit of gear. The tent features a bathtub floor, the seams are taped, and as you can see here, the body is just covered in mesh, which leads this tent to be an excellent three-season performer. The cost of this tent is $110 retail. I did happen to pick this up on a sale, and it was $82. Without any further delay, let's begin with the review, starting with the pros that I have for this tent. Now again, everyone, these come from multiple months of use. I've used this tent in a wide range of situations, warm, cool, beautiful conditions, stormy conditions, and these are my thoughts, my opinions. The quality of this tent is absolutely top notch. In fact, when it comes to budget-friendly tents, this is the best quality that I've ever seen. Teton Sports absolutely blew me away in this department. The quality is just incredibly impressive. There's no issues with the threads, no issues with the stitching, the seam tape. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Next up, when it comes to price, this tent offers an excellent value, especially when you consider the sale price that I got this for, $82, $83. For the money, that's an absolute win, especially when you consider the quality. Next up, my friends, this tent is 100% waterproof. No matter how hard the rain has come down, this tent has not leaked. It doesn't matter if it was wind-driven rain, Again, this tent has not leaked. Speaking of which, I've had this tent out in winds around 30 miles an hour in driving rain. <laughs> it doesn't leak, it has no issues. Without a doubt, this tent is extremely sturdy. Once you have it staked out, the tent does come with two guidelines, you could use those. This tent's not going anywhere. It handles the wind very well, it handles the conditions very well. Inside of the tent, ventilation is excellent, and that's because the body is surrounded by mesh. You have a mesh ceiling, mesh walls. The fly doesn't go all the way to the ground, so you can get some good airflow coming up underneath. As far as ventilation goes, top notch. That's not to say condensation won't be an issue because it will. I'll come back to that in just a second. I mentioned before that this tent features an overhead pocket. It is excellent. It's very large. You could fit a lot up there. Oftentimes tent companies will sell that as like an accessory feature that you have to pay like $25, $30 for. In this case, it's included. With the previous versions of this tent, as I mentioned in the preview, the tent was larger, it was wider, it was taller, it included a ground sheet, but at the same time, it cost around $20 to $30 more. An additional pro that I have for this tent is the lifetime warranty. This tent features a lifetime warranty, folks, and that's really important, especially when it comes to a budget-friendly tent. This is a tent that you can take out, you can use, and if you have an issue, the company will take care of you. Oftentimes, when it comes to budget-friendly tents, most of them are from Chinese companies, and if you have a problem, you're hosed, you're screwed. That's not the case with Teton Sports. This company has been around for a long time. They have a good reputation. I have heard of people having issues with, you know, backpack or with the tent, but those issues have always been corrected. They've been rectified by the company, and that's important. For an example, I've heard from a viewer who has the Scout 3400 backpack. He bought it from Amazon, got the pack, and one of the pockets was sewn on upside down. All he had to do was contact the company. He got a new pack and the issue was solved. Continuing on with the pros, this tent features two vents. You have one in the back, one in the front. The one in the front is integrated with the door. It's interesting. You can use it in a light rain, but if it's raining hard, you do have to close it. Next up, everyone, the setup process and the breakdown process is super simple. Everything's color-coded. 
it makes sense, and you can do this in five minutes once you have some experience under your belt. My last pro for this tent is the pack size. Overall, it's not bad. You have to keep in mind this is a budget-friendly tent, and because of that, it is a little bit larger, it's a little bit heavier, but again, that makes sense. You're looking at a tent that costs $110. This isn't a $300 tent. With that in mind, the size of this tent and the weight of this tent is good. That takes us over to the cons that I have for the Mountain Ultra tent. Con number one, the biggest con, this is a small tent. If you are taller than six feet, your head and feet will touch the bottom and the top of the tent. Width-wise, it's less than three feet wide. It's about two and a half feet wide. That's fairly small. The simple fact is this. If you're a big guy, big gal, this tent will not work for you. It's simply too small. Moving on to additional cons that I have, the small size of this tent does lead to other issues, namely in the form of condensation. In this case, because the body is so small, it's so close to your body, when you're inside of this tent, the fabric is right next to your skin, right? Condensation will form on that body because your body's releasing moisture, it's releasing heat, it's coming into contact with the cold air, condensation will develop. It's especially bad down at the foot box. With that being the case, if you plan to use this tent, you better plan on condensation being an issue because it will be. When you wake up in the morning, you will have a wet sleeping bag, and there's not much you can do about it. I've mentioned previously that this tent features two vents. You have one on the back side, one at the door. The one on the back side, unfortunately, cannot be accessed from inside of the tent. So if you have to close it, you have to get out of the tent, go around, close it, and then get back in. So if you're in a situation where it's super, super stormy, and you need to close that vent, you're about to get wet. Plain and simple. Luckily, the overall design of that vent is very good. It is difficult for water, for rain to make it underneath that vent, underneath the fly of the tent. So, so luckily, in most cases, you don't really have to worry about that. Another con for this tent are the tent stakes. These are a variation of shepherd hooks. Shepherd hooks are very lightweight, but as you can see here, they bend easy, and also they have a tendency to spin when they're in the ground. That is the case with these. Overall, they work but in some situations, they're not the best stakes to use. Generally, you will find these with very inexpensive, budget-friendly tents, and that's the case with the Mountain Ultra. Another con that I have for this shelter is the front and the back of the tent. There's no way to pull the fly away from the body. I'm sure you're asking, why is this important? It's important because that limits airflow. It promotes condensation to develop, and that's especially true on a small tent like this. If you were able to pull the fabric away from the back and the front, it would make the ventilation and airflow even better in this tent. And that is something that the company needs to address. You can very easily add your own hardware, make this alteration, but you shouldn't have to. The simple fact is this, they should know better. They've been making tents for a long time. I've complained about this before. Having the ability to pull the fabric away from the body does nothing but benefit the user inside of it or users. As far as the pros and cons go for the Mountain Ultra tent, that's it. Those are my thoughts about this tent. Those are my experiences. All in all, this is an excellent product. The biggest issue here is size. This is plain and simple, a small tent. I would say this, if you're above 5'10", I would not recommend this tent. At six foot, you should plan on your sleeping bag to be very wet because it will come into contact with the back wall. If you're 5'10 and below, that will be less of an issue. All in all though, this is an excellent quality product. And now I'm curious, I'm curious to see, curious to review, the larger sizes, the two person, three person, and so on. In the future, I will get one of those tents in and I will review it agenda free. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel and we'll see how that goes. Before I wrap up this episode, everyone, I wanna to read to you all a review that I found on Amazon concerning this tent. I came across this last night when getting all of my details together and I thought it was pretty funny. It says here, my wife and I are heavy smokers. We got this tent by saving up our Marlboro cigarette points and the tent is great. The storage pocket holds three to four packs of cigarettes plus my inhaler. <laughs> I'm sure that's a BS review, but it's funny. Anyways, everyone, that's it for this episode. Comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about the Mountain Ultra tent? I have heard nothing but good things from my viewers about this tent since my testing began. This is an excellent quality tent. It has a lot going for it. It's storm proof. It's very sturdy. Just unfortunately, it's small. It's small. And that tends to be a pattern with Teton Sports as of late. A lot of their products are getting smaller and smaller. And I'm sure that has to do with the economy, inflation, and so on. Speaking of which, recently I've been testing out one of their sleeping pads. And again, it's very short. If you're above six foot, it simply will not work. And the unfortunate thing is, is that they don't have like an extra large version. It's these smaller size tents and sleeping pads, and that's it. Now, that's not the case for all of their products, but for many. Anyways, everyone, if you have any experiences with a Mountain Ultra tent, comment down below, share them with the community, because I know the community will appreciate it. Before you go, hit the thumbs up, because it does help the channel. You can support The Outdoor Gear Review, Patreon, YouTube. You can join the Wolf Pack. The channel is agenda-free. I bought this with my own money. I'm sharing my thoughts. I don't care if you buy this. It's that simple. Everyone, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.